Th this patient has CERC uh, CTO. We have difficulties for the crossing the rider, but it's fine. RCA is occluded. There is some collateral from left, but our aim was today CERC CTO. We have nice collateral from OM, that big CERC. So that was our aim today, but this there is a stand at the proximal uh, CERC, and there is two layers, maybe three layers of stand. I think three layers of stand we have. So it, it's really a difficult uh, case, to be honest, because anti-grade approach is difficult because of the these uh, stand struts and retrograde also difficult because of epicardial the, the, collateral. Are, are the stands all still or uh, just uh, in the uh, proximal? Or? It comes a little bit uh, LAD, uh, mm -hmm. the uh, left main, one or two millimeter, not much. Mm -hmm. Next, please. This is other view. We see nice collateral from the uh, OM. You see, we have a nice collateral, but we try first to integrate. Next, it wasn't easy. We just search for uh, collaterals. So mm -hmm. this is pilot 50. We engage it, but we couldn't insert uh, more. So we try more and, you know, with, with help of Macrocatheter, but it wasn't easy. Next, please. So, and then we give up and we so, think so that- So you didn't want to escalate? Yes, uh, we didn't because, you know, I always think about uh, if even I cross it, it will be difficult to cross three layers of stand because I had very, uh, you know, light sport from, from that point because it's very proximal. In the proximal, we have very, uh, you know, light uh, sport. So we cross with this, with this CO of wire. This is CO of wire from the OM to CERC and we insert nicely our Corsair excess uh, Corsair. This is excess Corsair and we did tip injection. Next. And first we had chosen <coughs> Gaia second first and then we tr it was Subintima. Next, please. And we choose uh, later on 200, pilot 200, but it was also went the same place, which is Subintima. Next, please. So we failed from retrograde, basically. This is substrat. So, you know, this is not in the lumen. This is uh, substrat and, uh, you know, this is under uh, Intima at left main. So we had some dissection retrograde, but that's fine. Next. So after that, what we did, you know, we tried to Revive from the, uh, since we have a target, we try to revive the stand from anti-gradely. And by our field of FC wire went very easily. So we are very happy about that. And we did some dilatation, but later on we found out that that wire, you know, that wire went to circ under strut, surprisingly, because this stand implanted uh, 10 years ago. And we had, bec because of under expansion, uh, integrate wire now under ex uh, under stand strut. So it was very interesting for us. Anyway, we think a lot with other audience and moderators. You see, after the dilatation, we had uh, some, of course, dissection at the proximal part, but the other, which is okay. That part is CTO. We don't care about the uh, dissection at the CTO part. We try to go integrately. This I will shows us we are. And here, if you see, we are in the substrate, right? It's for sure. And yeah, here, you see, we are under substrate. It was very strange for us. We did 4O dilate 3.5 and 4O dilatation for the OM stand. So I am in the substrate here. You see? Under substrate. So we are sure. We will do crash. Yeah. Next, please. Yeah, we did dilatation because it was too old some, somewhere. It was really severely underexpanded stand. Uh, yes, now we are aim to engage that uh, circ intra stand, right, from anti-gradely. We, uh, you know, after some time, we did it. And to do that, we use double uh, lumen catheter. Yeah, uh, and here, uh, this is, I think, good trick. We had to use balloon support as well because it wasn't easy to send that uh, wire, which is Conquest Pro 12, to uh, uh, the CERC. I can, no, only now I can engage and I can push it, right? That's the moment we, we insert it. So, next, next please. And we did some dilatation here. You know, we did uh, our Corsair cross and we changed it. And we changed our wire. And we did dilatations and everything. Next, please, we put two stand. We did good dilatations, 3 or 3.5 at the proximal. The first, we, ha we had implanted 
275.33. So we did um, 275.33 and 3.523 uh, stance for the left main to circ, right? So we did the stand from oh. left main to circ, right? Yes, yes. And then we we implanted, we, yeah, we we oh. started by 5.0. And next, please. And we did kissing. This is the second stand. Next, please. Go ahead. More. And then we did the kissing 3.5, 3.5. Wow. But, wow. but please look great at it result. this still. Great yeah, result. yeah. But the great result, but then we see here perforation of the epicardial. Uh, you you oh. see that? Ah. Yeah. So mm -hmm. it happens, Mohammed, you know, he told me that, you know, watch out your distal wire. It wasn't there before, but during the uh, procedure, yes, I also saw that my wire was knuckled and went somewhere. I was, you know, a little bit afraid of that. But we see that the patient is okay. I think it's there maybe last more than half an hour. Like limited. Yeah, yeah, but, you know, again, we saw it next. This is 5 -0. We did dilatation and uh, we, we finished fro from proximal and then we went there. We don't, you know, even uh, this patient has cabbage operation. We, we are not sure. It's not tamponated, that's sure, but we might have some, you know, bleeding in hemocardium, which, you know, uh, which, which, ca which can take uh, liters of uh, blood. So we think that it's better to do heal, right? We, 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 ha we have two, uh, two and so we did, we did coil of them. Next, please. I think this is good. Uh, we, we like to be in the safe side. For example, here. Here, so we did so tip injection. you put coil in? Yeah, yes. Uh, hmm. Professor, we did uh, coil yeah, yeah, here. Yeah. Next, please. Macro coil. Second. This is coil. And then we put another one, and we had really uh, close that gap. Next, please. Yes, this is the second one. And we close this gap. I mean, it will, I'm sure it will be nothing in minutes because totally occluded. And also we went to other branch because you know that there is a two end of this collateral, right? So we, we mm -hmm. close this one and it's, we, if we do good, if we, if we really do want to close this bleeding, we have to go other. You see, we have some also ah. bleeding here, right? So we, were, we went there. We implanted another one here, which is big one. It was a four millimeter macro coil, uh, macro coil. because it was big for this vessel. We d we didn't have smaller one. We couldn't open fully, and it you know, and then it it lives like that. But what we did, we sent a wire to push this uh, coil. Because yeah, and here, after pushing, we have this result. And this is big coil and. Uh, and Next, please, which we checked after several minutes. And uh, we are very happy now because uh, it's almost uh -huh. occluded. It will be occluded. Then we, as you see, the, uh, the left main, we have plug shift of LAD. LAD is a good vessel. We have septals. Those septals go to RCA. So we did kissing here to open that uh, LAD ostium, uh, 2.5 by 4 kissing. Well, congratulations. Yeah. yeah. Uh, really, very tough case. Well, yeah, this is uh, the final result. Yeah, this is not important. But what is important is uh, to really uh, cope with the complications. Uh, it is the, uh, the, the 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 main principle of uh, you know doing interventions. Thank yes. you very much again.